Have you stopped watching, you told me you've been watching the Beyonce documentary all weekend. Listen, your producer actually was like, how many times have you watched it? I was like, what's it to you? <laughs> we want to we know. I may have lost count. I don't know. Sometimes I black out. Sometimes I cry. I learn things. It's Are you just really such a special. fan girl of Beyonce? I mean, the biggest. Really? Her, her commitment to artistry and the way that she demands excellence from every single person on her team and herself yeah. and is really in the trenches with everybody every day. It's so antithetical to what we hear about hierarchy. She's like, she's in it to win it. And, and she advocates for her team. And I just think she's setting a really killer example for the creative process. And I sort of like her, whatever. <laughs> is there anyone else? Like, that, yeah, you can. Yeah, you know. I like, Whatever. I'm all about liking people. <laughs> I like people too. I like so many people. Yeah, who else do you fangirl out over? Um, I did a bad thing a couple of years ago at the Upfronts, which are the big sort of dog and pony show when TV shows are getting picked up. Yeah. They happen in May. Um, I saw Kate McKinnon and I was like, oh my God. You are so funny. And, and I was just sort of telling her that I love her and then was like, and see, I'm doing this super awkward thing where like I can't stop talking and that's what strangers do. And I know it's weird because like I'm also on TV. I'm not totally a stranger. And I just kept going. And I don't think I breathed for two minutes. And she was like, mm-hmm. She was she backing away? She was kind of like, <laughs> She's just like, keep that girl away, away from, from me. me. <laughs> uh, let's talk about uh, Easy. Yeah. Now, this is oh. a tricky idea for a show. Now, yes. is this true? There's no script. No script. No, I, 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 walk mm. me through how this works. <laughs> okay, so there's this fantastic writer and director who's a Chicago guy named Joe Swanberg, who mm -hmm. is a genius. And so I'm playing this documentary filmmaker named Alex in the show. Uh, and Jacqueline Taboni, who plays a character named Joe, her and Kiersey do their episodes together, comes to work for me. And there's this whole moment where he says, you know, you're trying to figure out this girl's deal and like also be respectful of the workplace environment. And you guys go out for after dinner drinks and this thing we were talking about, about relationships, hit on that and make sure you tell her about your ex-girlfriend so she knows you're also gay. And I was like, that's it? That's it? Wow. Okay, that's a lot. Hold on. Okay. I need five minutes for this. Yeah. Wait, we want me to like, do what? And what else am I supposed to say? But isn't that amazing? Yeah. Because it, 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 it feels real and you go, yeah. it's a... And it just happens. Like an acting exercise. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of romantic scenes as well, I should say. Yep. Uh, if you do, is that... Is, is that just, is that tricky? Because I mean, I don't clearly have to do that in my career. Right. <laughs> I mean, the roly game, but that's not the No, same. yeah, okay. no, yeah. Um, the... But like, uh, have you ever had a bad, uh, a really bad experience with like, yes. like a romantic thing? So there are spectrums. Like my experience on Easy with a director who's incredible and a very respectful crew and also Jacqueline's a babe. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. Our, not our, I can't reveal who this was. I have had less than ideal experiences also. Um, years ago, I was working on a show, the one that really stands out, and I had to kiss this boy. And we were doing this scene and he, he did this real weird kind of like move in on me. And I was like, are we boxing? What's going on? <laughs> and before I knew it, I was like, oh my God, ow. And I realized he was biting my lip, but like not my lip. He was biting this part of my face where my, where my chin face attaches to my teeth. Your chin face. I don't even face. know what to call this. Your chin this. face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, on the and, inside of your yeah, mouth? Like, all the way down, he went past the lip and to there. And this to there. Thing? And he dragged my lip through his teeth like an artichoke leaf. <laughs> and I was like. Like an artichoke leaf, ew. I was like, I feel so violated. Wow. And I'm supposed to pretend that I'm the most attracted to this guy. So I like, I think I started twitching and they cut. And I look at him and I've just, I've known this person for like a week. And I go, what are you doing, bro? Yeah. And he goes, I'm being sexy. <laughs> I was like, not sexy. Yeah. Hot tip. This is why you're single. Don't do that. Do not do that. Don't Absolutely. do that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no. You know who you are, buddy. He shall remain nameless, but you know. You know who you are, yeah. Uh huh. So on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's so on and on and on.